Okay. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. I'm Ben. It's Dyson's daughter. Hello and welcome to the Wells of the Head. Uh, there is a story. Sorry. I don't think David's going to be able to use any of this. That we're right beside the 82 and it is bedlam. Um, there is a story that this monument was put up due to the murder of a family, a branch of the powerful and illustrious clan of which his lordship, who was, I don't know, I can't read it, the Lord O'Donnell, um, his family got murdered and the monument was erected by Colonel Macdonald of Glengarry in the year 1812. The heads of the scene murdered, murdered? Murderers were presented to the feet of the noble chief in Glengarry Castle after having been washed in the spring and ever since that event, the 16th century, it has been known by the name of the Well of the Heads. It's very difficult to read. It's, uh, sorry, I'm pointing you the wrong direction because Okay. The story begins in September 1667 when Alexander, the young chief of the Macdonalds of Kepoch, and his brother Ronald were murdered. Although there have been different theories about the motives behind the death, there was little doubt as to who the killers were. Alexander Macdonald from Inverlair and his six sons. However, the only person wanted them punished was Ian Lome a Gaelic poet and relative of the victims, for two long years he pressed for actions. He finally convinced the Macdonald chief on Sky to request the king's permission to capture the killers by fire or sword. The story goes that Ian Lom and 50 men then set out for Inverlea where they not only captured but also beheaded the killers. Afterwards, Ian Long took their seven heads to Lord Macdonald and Invergarry, cleaning them in spring water beside Loch Oich on the way. Okay. So, the heads of the murder murderers is on the top of the monument. Uh, but... Like I said, I'm sorry it's very noisy here because we're right next to the 82 and folks seem to be in an awful hurry to get where they're going. Don't know why and you can't really see the lock from here and I'm going to switch off. Loch Oich is a freshwater loch in the highlands of Scotland, which forms part of the Caledonian Canal, of which it is the highest.
here we are in the forest the 82 is below me and it's still noisy and the sun's shining in your faces so I'm sorry I came up here thinking that there's a geocache here somewhere but I'm not even sure I'm going the right way so it could be up here somewhere but it's too warm it's too sticky and I haven't got anything with me apart from my camera and my bag and the pocket I'm no water and I'm not prepared to go any further so I'm heading back down to get back to the car park I'm not sure we're actually stopping because Her brakes need fixing. She won't have any lift at this rate. Um, I suppose it's better than ringing a bell. I doubt she's got one on there. And as usual. Oh, she's gone. Right. So, I'm not sure if we're stopping here the night because it says no overnight parking. We have paid for the car park up until 23.59 tonight. But it depends if the forestry comes out and chases us off or not. Who knows? We do have a backup. Most of the people I've seen in the car park haven't even bothered to pay for the car park. They've come, had their lunch and disappeared off again. And as you can see... Oh jeez! Um, Still on the search for dragonflies and damselflies. David pointed one out to me and I did see it but it flew off somewhere else when we were at um, Koi Dam yesterday. The second spot was more to my liking than the first one. <laughs> That's just me. Sorry if you can't see a lot, but the sun is shining and I ain't complaining about it. considering how much rain has fallen in the last three days there are not that many puddles about there's a lot of water coming off the hills but no puddles we had one clap of thunder last night didn't see any lightning but we did hear lightning through the radio when David was listening to the cricket but it could have been anywhere so I'm 
but I'm going to switch off because honestly the noise of the 82 is loud. It is not my favourite road. People need to respect it more. But I will say bye for now and we'll catch up with you another time. Take care all. Well of the Seven Heads, the tall needle-like monument on the banks of Loch Oi at the side of the A82 was erected in 1812 by Alexander Ranaldson Macdonald to commemorate the Keppoch murders. It is topped by a sculpture of a hand holding a dagger and seven severed heads. The monument bears an inscription in Gaelic, English, French and Latin that outlines the ample and summary vengeance which upon the orders of the Lord MacDonald and Arros overtook the perpetrators of the foul murder of the Keppoch family, a branch of the powerful and illustrious clan of which his lordship was the chief. It details how the heads of the seven murders were cut off with a knife, washed in the nearby burn and presented at the feet of the MacDonald chieftain in the nearby Invergarry Castle. The monument was moved a few yards from its original position in 1930 when the road was reconstructed. Once again, although this was a, a lovely park up, Lindsay invoked Rule 1. She did it a little bit earlier this time, and uh, before I knew she'd mentioned it in her walk earlier. But this time she was making dinner. 
So we, we had dinner, packed up and moved on. I had three possible spots. It was, uh, first one was actually full cars and vans. And we didn't get to the second one or the third one because we came to a spot we hadn't even thought about and it was a brilliant spot and we ended up stopping the night. That video will be the final video from this trip and will be on Friday. Join us again to see what a beautiful spot the next place was. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donuts and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.